today's session, I'm going to start with some log. Used to know a bread and butter, but obviously we have had struggles lately. But today, um, I'm hoping for 160 ish. I'm going to try and use my legs. It's been a long time since I was able to use my legs. I think people forget that because I've got strong shoulders, they think I can't use my legs. I know exactly how to use my legs. Because you uh, strict press all the time. <laughs> my, uh, my shoulders have saved me from many contests last year because I couldn't push press. So try and get back into it and see if I can get my legs working properly. Hopefully get a nice 160 and then I'm going to get some power stairs practicing and then some stones to finish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Kick see what have you got today. Deadlift. 140. Paused at the knee. 3x3. Three three. So she's got a very easy session. Easy? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I hate paused, especially at the knee. We'll see how it goes. Enjoy the session. Pardon? Oh, <laughs> missed. <laughs> I missed on both. Oh, close. Yeah! <laughs> What are you eating? <laughs> Looks very nice. I know. You've eaten all mine, so I've got to stick with the marshmallow one. Feels heavy and it's 70. <laughs> you mean to say it feels really, really light? 70 always feels heavy. Why do you do that with the log at the beginning? Just to try and warm up into it. I don't believe in warming up anywhere else. I try and warm up with the log. So I row it, I deadlift it. Get the feel for it. Yeah. And then I upright row it. I just, it's just like a bit of a routine, but it always works. It's hard because you know, if I can press 200, 70 is like what? The maths isn't here right now. 35% <laughs> so it's 35% of 200. But like if you can press 100 kilo log, but you've got to do 70, 70%. That's true. So, but even me, I, I like it to make it, I'm, like I will work with it until it feels like 35% and then I'll walk. You know, I've, I've come in many a times, come in and press the log. And it feels heavy. And it feels shit. So yeah. I've like learned a way around it. So I say the same when I'm warming up for deadlifts and squats. You know, like that first set or the first weight, even not the first set. So if it's sixty or seventy kilo deadlift, you got to make it move. You got to make, make it, it feel light. Yeah. Up, yeah. Don't be scared to use that as your warm up. So, oh no, he said though sometimes that's a good thing.
probably still a bit early to try and use your legs. Yeah. I'll probably do it again. Once you've warmed up. Yeah. It might not be anything, but I'm just felt that little like top again. So it's got me worried. I hate for people very skilled. No. It's just frustrating, isn't it? If strict press doesn't hurt, just strict press. Yeah, do another. I'll do one, two, three. Um, try and see if I can keep the back of the right there. Embrace. That's what. Part of me doing that's protecting and holding that up, you see. If you think that I need that. Yeah. I need that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ixi. Feeling ready? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Does it hurt? Same as it always is, it's just there. What I might do, it's that 70. Go up in doubles, five side. And then what does that take you up to? How many are you going to? Are you going to 160 in doubles? Let's see, it's a lot of work, but stops me jumping too much. Or you can go up 2.5 in singles. No, doubles. Yeah. So fives. It's not heavy, it's just an S. It's good. Last thing you want to be on a log. I know it's light, but I am trying to stay more right. Looking good, is it feeling good? Wait for something to go wrong. <laughs> You're so negative. <laughs> no, it feels okay. It's still pain. That's the idea about the small jumps, really, is to make sure I don't make too big a jump. A safeguard for me would be a strict press. But I just need to have a go if I have to. And if you sets down and strict press it, I will. But I want to try and avoid it. I want to try and make it a push press session. They're looking good. Yeah. Five on. Yeah. Just yes. thinking out loud, I'm going to do singles now. 100, 110, 120, 130. Just keep it going until I'm happy and then maybe drop down. I think if I do doubles, I don't want to tire, tire it out. Yeah, you could do the work on your drop downs. If you get there. If I get there, yeah. <laughs> of course you will. It's annoying, like, who's strip press is bigger than a push press, but it's not. It's not, it's just I've been injured for a long time. People just see a strip press. You know, I can come push press a 70 kilo log. People can't see that because I don't show it. You know, like we did try uh, last year. And uh, yeah, 70 kilos I can push press it. So. <laughs>
Good? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Good. It's not as snappy as I would love it to be, it's not very easy. It? it will come. I need to make sure I'm up by 200 again with for you. Any more as a bonus. Would it just be nice to go out at higher percentage than I was last time? Yes. Yeah. Restricted 205 with Brian's that fell over. Then I restricted 195 in Europe. So I know I can do 200 straight. I don't want to do it straight. I use my legs. Even if I half use my legs, I'll just keep working on that. Are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm actually more worried about the clean, but the cleans have felt fine. You're clean than not. Uh, because I can't squat down as far as I like, but it's moving. It'd be interesting to see what you're on in the wider one, the longer log. Let's go and find out. We will. You didn't sneak them, I saw them. Ah. <laughs> I just wasn't going to say anything till the end. They were easier than your metal log. Yeah, the, the quarter clean thing I'm doing seems to suit me better on that one. Because it's not as thick. Fat. You can hold it better. Well, the uh, circumference on that is four inch bigger. That's what I'm saying, the metal, that, that wooden one is not as fat. Thick. <laughs> what would you call it? <laughs> Girthy. <laughs> Girthy. Girthy. <laughs> Girthy. Let me get out of this. You done? Yeah. What next? Stones next. <clears throat> What's the plan for stones? Uh, three sets of five and forty. Felt like I was missing out on what you're doing. I, I keep looking at it, it wouldn't it be just convenient to have a spoon? Just stick a spoon in it and scrape it off the floor. I can arrange that. But like it's a bigger tub than normal. Once it gets past halfway, I find it quite hard to get it out. <laughs> I'll bring you a spoon in next session, Nixie. Sure, there's more, worse things to worry about in the world. <laughs> <laughs> than getting your techie out of a job. I'll just look at it and I'm sure this could be made a bit easier. <laughs> Maybe I should tell Marcus to send his tubs out with spoons. Or smaller tubs. Fatter tubs. More girthy. <laughs> God's sake. Girthy. Girthy. <laughs> if you're from north, it's girthy. Girthy.
gonna try and stop that. <laughs> What's the weight? Also wait. Hmm. You're gonna hurt yourself <laughs> with that setup. <laughs> oh my gosh. If it works, that'll be good. Happy? Good. Right, really good fun session actually. I feel strong. I just gotta really rein myself in. 160 log. I don't care how it looked, it went well. And then my drop down triples I thought were really positive. Um, I'm gonna jump on that one next week. Stones, 15 reps on 140 altogether. Be good to get to 160 doing the same thing. Um, not quite there yet. I don't really want to push it yet. Uh, a few weeks off with that. And then power stairs. Um, Rumour has it there's power stairs in Europe. So I'm just trying to train it um, best I can come up with, really. So I did 150 for 12. Um, and then I worked up to a 300 single. So um, it's quite a high box, I think. So I think if it does obviously come around, that power stairs are in it. We might come up with like a, a crazy idea with all these jerk blocks and roll boxes. But yeah, we'll see. I uh, hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you're enjoying the, the journey um, as I get over this shitty injury. Um, but yeah, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you later, guys.